Hey folks, it's Shane from Foreman TV. Today, we're doing body work. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my little spot on YouTube where I put electric car components into fun and interesting cars. Today, we're working on our Porsche and I'll put a link above to the, the last video we did on that. And we're gonna be doing something that I've been putting off for probably nearly a year now. Um, basically, I was cleaning up the underside of the car uh, when I had it out and you know didn't have any engine or uh, gearbox in it, just getting the pressure washer at things, just cleaning it down so that when I do put the electric components in, they've got a nice clean base to go into. And I noticed that there was a lot of flaking metal uh, just down the rear sills and as I poked more basically screwdriver just started going through and I found there's a huge big rust hole down there so I cut out the bad metal I sprayed in some rust converter and sealant and then pretend it never happened and went and worked on other things on the car now I kind of have to just accept that I do need to do something about it so we're gonna fabricate some patch panels weld them in get that section all structurally sound again and ready to go um, and then I can look at just just repainting it and getting it to try and blend in with the rest of the car but the the key thing is just to get it structurally sound and again in a way that's not gonna uh, make the end you know the MOT uh, tester want to fail the car so yeah um, I've got an idea of how I'm doing this but I'm sure I'll discover things along the way that will have to change it. But yeah, come on, let's get to it. So I didn't get to show you the carnage of what was lurking underneath the sills on the other side because I kind of discovered it off camera and I was only able to show you the, the finding of the final rust hole. But I'll bring you along for the journey on this side. So we're going to remove the wheel arch. I've already removed the panel that goes here, uh, which is just basically to kind of catch spray and stuff. Obviously doing a, a great job. Um, but yeah, I'll take the, this thing off and then you'll see exactly how bad things are behind the uh, plastic on this car. So this is why I've got a problem with the rear sills on my car. Basically the wheels, I've been throwing muck up over the, the arch line that I just pulled off and depositing it into here. And this is like a solid, solid piece of looks like sand i reckon this thing might have been driven on a beach or just sandy roads or something near the sea it's really disgusting um but it also means that there's a lot of moisture has been held against this part of the car which is why these um these panels are are, are going so we're gonna have to um yeah cut it out again and refill it but yeah i'll take you along for the journey This may be in better nick than the other side. I'm gonna finish getting this off and then I'll probably just strip off the um, under or the uh, protective coating and see what state it's in. Obviously this bit here is gone, but um, if, it's, if it's not as bad as the other side, we might have an easier job to do. So obviously we've got one nice big hole here. This feels a little bit crusty along here and then we've got a piece there but as you come further forward it's actually starting to feel quite solid so fingers crossed we can actually salvage more of this one than we can of the other one so this has probably made my week even my month um, after the amount that I had to cut away to get back to good metal on the other side um, this is actually pretty good in pretty good nick uh, obviously yeah we've got one hole here 
but the metal gets back to regular thickness probably about here so that's fine I'll just I might even use a hole source and just drill a nice circular hole around there fill it in and we'll we'll get these bits to blend in um, and then there's obviously this this hole here um, with the kind of the metal on this far side which isn't isn't in great nick but there's a lot more of it than was on the other side and from what I can feel the inner frame rail uh, which is the main support for the car is perfectly fine there might be a little bit of surface rust on it but I'll do what I did on the other side and spray some rust converter and protector in to um, to deal with any surface rust but yeah overall this it'll probably actually end up being a slightly <laughs> harder job because I'm replacing uh, some smaller sections rather than one big one but uh, to be honest I'd rather do that um, and have more of the car left so I haven't been able to get the specific patch panel that I need. Um, it's really only available as like the full side of the car, full quarter panel. So what I've got here is actually from slightly further along, I'll show you on the car in a second, slightly further along the side of the car, but it's got very similar curvature. And the only real difference is that this bottom section, it widens as you get closer to the back of the car. So what I've been able to source is this section of the car. Um, the the panel itself ultimately gets covered in uh, kind of rubberized undercoating so that's good for hiding a multitude of sins um, but yeah basically this, this piece back to the, the end of the door panel is um, what I've been able to get my hands on and that piece is pretty consistent the whole way along the only real difference I don't know if you can see it here is that it's wider at this stage than it is further forward So what I've done is to basically adapt the panel. Um, so I've changed where the crease was, flattened this out, kept the curve the same, because that is what we want, it's what's on the car. And then basically we'll offer this up to the car and get it to fit. So I've decided to err on the side of caution and I've cut a bit more out than I'd initially planned um, just to get back to really good metal. So we've got the space cut out, I've prepped the metal of ground back the um, the sealant and the paint so we've got bare metal to weld to there I've got my patch panel ready to go so I'll spray the inside of this with uh, some weld through primer just so it's protected um, and spray some rust converter in here and then we'll come back to it in a while and um, and weld it up All right, so here we are with our patch panel welded in. I'm pretty happy with that. I've had to put a small bit of filler into a few holes, but overall it's solid, secure, and properly welded in place, not like uh, some of the stuff I've seen on YouTube, which is three tack welds and half a, half a tin of uh, fiberglass body filler. But um, no, this is, this is all metal now. Uh, all all together so um, obviously I need to figure out now the fold here along the sides um, which we'll do with the help of a new uh, piece new plastic mud flap piece and uh, we'll see where we need to make the um, make the bends so that takes us up neatly to where we are today our patch panels are in place they're welded in um, of gone over, got them as smooth as I can, put in a tiny bit of filler to kind of get any pinholes out of there. Um, etch primed, bit of filler primer. Uh, and now, yeah, they're pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I've got some under seal just in a rattle can, go spray it on, try and blend it in as best I can into what's already there. It's not gonna look amazing. Uh, it's the, it'll be the wrong type of, I guess, spray pattern because from a rattle can rather than um from a you know a proper spray gun but hopefully it'll uh yeah just neaten it up make it kind of blend in and then i do have some uh color match paint for this so i'll try and just then blend in what's covered and make it look as polished as possible i've got new um plastic as 
uh, the other stuff got destroyed when I was taking it apart. So we'll put these on. Um, fits pretty well actually when I test fit it. Um, but yeah, I'll need to drill new, some new holes and that sort of thing just to get it to fit fully. But yeah, I think um, it's a good solid, good solid finish and I'm very happy with it. Um, so yeah, we'll get this sprayed up and uh, see how we get on. All right, I am actually, even without having painted over this with just the rubber stuff on it, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. You can still kind of see where the, there was a line uh, where I uh, sanded back the, the stuff initially, but that is gradually decreasing. And I think if I build up a few more layers, it'll uh, pretty much vanish totally, which is awesome. I, th I think the secret with this stuff to get it looking kind of like the stuff the uh, OEM manufacturers get out of there big industrial kind of compressor spray guns is to um to, to kind of use the the rattle can the way you're not supposed to so by going for kind of short sharp bursts of the spray while moving the can around it, it seems to throw out like the heaviest concentration of of the um the under seal rubbery stuff and and gives it that that mottled effect that i'm looking for whereas if you go for the longer kind of proper strokes it, it comes out very flat um so yeah i'm i'm really happy with that we'll we'll do a few more few more passes probably with the um plastic pieces in place so i'll, I'll need to fix those on and um yeah you know mask them off and then because that will kind of hopefully give me a bit of a a line or a bit of a relief around the plastic piece as well which is a bit more like what they had um on the uh the old panel but th this is this is looking so good now, uh, way better than a gaping hole anyway. Wow, that was a lot of cutting, welding, grinding, cutting, welding, grinding, welding, grinding, welding, grinding. But it's done. It's secure. Uh, some of the welds looked really good, some didn't, um, but they're all secure. I've gone at it with hammers, pliers, tried to rip the panel off and it's it's not coming off, which is, is great. Um, ground the welds back as best I can so that they're nice and neat. And uh, now all that's left really is just put some seam sealer on the last few things, spray over a few more things. Um, and then we'll have a, a nice, neat um, patch for the car. Um, you know, with these things, it'd be great if I could just replace the whole panel and, and that, but that's even more work and yeah, uh, way more expense. I'm pretty, re actually, I'm really happy with what I've done here with, um, you know, with the panels I've been able to get. And yeah, hopefully this will keep the car secure for, for quite a while to come. But yeah, now that that's done, we can get back to kind of the EV side of things and looking at mounting um, components like the, the charger that we worked on a few weeks back and get that um, back into the car and wired up and ready to go and then lo start looking at our get the car out of the garage so I can finish off working on the battery box but yeah if you've enjoyed this sort of thing and these are the types of things you want to see please consider subscribing um, likes and comments are always appreciated but till next time thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon <laughs> <laughs>